Hello everybody, Andy here again. Right, this is going to be a quick video. I was, was thinking about doing it, then I wasn't going to do it. And I thought, no, I'm going to do it, and it has to be topical. Uh, I've just seen a video by Tim up, down, mostly, and I thought, no, I'm going to post my own one anyway. Um, yesterday, as you may well be aware, YouTube was taken out, born less globally, worldwide. Um, I was trying to get on there, and I thought, what's going on here? And funnily enough, I happened to think to myself, oh, I saw something in the news earlier on about Pakistan. Uh, getting rid of YouTube, stopping YouTube being seen by all the people in Pakistan because of uh, particular videos that they didn't like, a sort of a censorship thing. And I thought of that jokingly, and I just happened to be trawling through the internet via the BBC website and found out that that's exactly what had happened. Uh, inadvertently, I think, I do believe that this was uh, an unintentional thing, but because the, the Pakistan government has said, right, we're going to ban YouTube, we're going to stop YouTube being seen in Pakistan, that some overzealous official somewhere happened to press the wrong button or rooted something somewhere else and it meant that all the traffic from YouTube was going via Pakistan or, or thereabout, you know, as best as I can make it out. So it shut the whole site down more or less globally for a couple of hours. It started coming in back in dribs and drabs and it started trickling back in and I think I lost it for about two or three hours. But um, as Tim said, this does seem a faint, quite amusing really, but it's quite scary in other ways. You've got the freedom of speech type of side of it. Yes, I understand there's lots and lots of stuff on this site and on the internet generally which is offensive, um, which maybe shouldn't be seen, but I'm not a great lover of censorship. Yes, there are things, as I said, that you know need to be taken down. I understand that, and so I'm sure there's lots of things on YouTube that need to be taken down, but never are. But <laughs> that's another story altogether. But for Freedom of speech is one of those things, in my opinion, that's, uh, that we should hold up very dearly. It's something we should not allow. Now, other governments, Pakistan aren't the only government to have done this. I think Turkey's done it before, and I believe I've it written down somewhere, and Thailand, they've also done it in the past. They've, they've banned YouTube, and we've all heard about the Great Firewall of China banning or trying to stop Google um, over there and sort of basically banning bits of it and not letting people search for certain things that are politically sensitive and probably even more so uh, with the coming of the Olympic Games in August of this year. But that's another story as well. But um, we've got all those side of things. Now if, if one particular government or one particular overzealous official in Pakistan can uh, basically mess up one of the biggest, uh, biggest websites in the world, one of the most busiest and most popular websites in the world, which is an American-owned website, you know. Um, this raises a lot of problems, doesn't it? This raises all those uh, things about internet security, etc., etc., you know. Where's this going to end? We are increasingly reliant on the internet now, whether it be personally, governmentally, internationally, you know, all these things are now run by the internet. Now, if a, a country like Pakistan can do this inadvertently, and um, as I said, I suspect that that's what happened there. Just think what some people could do if they actually wanted to do this. Now, if they could bring down one website, they could bring down any website. And any little geek or sort of a nerd in their little bedroom somewhere, and I don't mean that uh, nastily by any means, don't take offence if there's any nerds or geeks watching this. <laughs> My wife calls me a geek anyway, so anyway, that's another thing. Um, but. Um, you should just think what some of these young kids or whatever, some determined criminal or, or the criminal organisation or terrorist organisation could do. They could bring down everything, couldn't they? And then we'll be, where will we be? We uh, rely increasingly on the internet across the world, across the board now for just about everything. Everything's tied up with the internet. So um, food for thought there. You know, this was uh, a one-off. Hopefully it's made everybody sit up and take notice. I'd like to think it has for lots of different reasons. A, the vulnerability of the internet service and the, you know, all those uh, questions, the big can of worms that this has now opened. And also that sort of whole freedom of speech thing. Whole countries can take down websites, can ban people from what, looking at the internet or certain things on the internet. I know I've covered bits of this before but uh, this is very topical had to be said now so I'll be interested to know what anybody else thinks whether you suffered and what do you think about this and the implications of it anyway thanks for your time I'll speak to you again soon goodbye